Hey and welcome to the last part of the Game Asset Creation series, in which I will add a stylized material to the rock using Substance Painter. Here we have the two rock models, the high poly, which is exported as rock underscore HP OBJ, and the low poly rock, that is exported as rock underscore LP OBJ. Here we can see it in edit mode with the UV map. Ok, now we will open Substance Painter, this is version 2018, and create a new project. The template is Unity 5, we could use another one for a different workflow, but I will stick to this and also to a resolution of 2K and an OpenGL normal map, which is the one that Blunder uses. After that, I select the file with the low poly rock model that we created using 3D code. Then I press OK and here we can see the low poly model. And the next step is to change to the texture settings tab and bake the maps like normal map, ambient occlusion or curvature by using the high poly mesh. We don't need an ID map, but I will bake all the other textures and the high poly mesh I add here to the high definition meshes. Ok, the rest of the settings I keep as they are and then I go ahead and bake the textures. This will take a while but I will speed this up for you. And as the textures are baked, you can see that they are already applied to the mesh. And the result looks really good, I don't see any artifacts, a strange shading or other issues. Of course the material is too glossy, this is the default material. But I have a nice material for stylized models. It is made by 3DX, a fellow artist, and you can get it from his Gumroad page, I added the link to the description below. So let's see, we find it here in the smart materials, it is called 3DX Stone, and I just have to drag it into the layer stack. And here we go, you see it looks awesome. So if you want to go with a brown stylized stone, this is a drag and drop solution. So let's have a look at this from different angles and different zoom levels. I think the cavities and the ambient occlusion come out really nice. And also the edges which are highlighted by a lighter brown tone. So I'm quite happy with it. By the way, in Substance Painter you can change the rotation of the environment. And with that the lighting when you hold the shift key down and the right mouse button and then move the mouse. What you can also do is to change the display settings, for example, adjust the opacity of the environment or to bring in some post-processing effects. I do this here very quickly, just for fun. Ok, what I also would like to do is to change this brown tone to a grey tone. And this is quite simple, using this material I just go over the layers and adjust the color. We start with the base layer open here the base color and just drag it to the left. With this approach the value of the color will be the same, I just changed the tone to grey. You can also do this by the way by using the S slider in the middle. I do this now for every layer of the material to turn the stone from brown to grey. There's also a layer for texture details, it has a default opacity of 51, but I will bring this down a bit more. And now the last step in Substance Painter is to export the textures, and I want to bring them into Blender, so let's see how we can do this. I go to File, Export Textures. And here we have different export configurations, for example for Unity or Unreal Engine, and there's also one for Blender. So 
So I will select it and as you can see here we get textures for diffuse, normal map, roughness and metallic. So I set the export folder to the one where I have my low poly mesh and then I press export. And this is done pretty fast, then I open the folder and here you can see the textures, diffuse, metallic, normal and roughness and they are prefixed by Unity because we used the Unity template, but that doesn't matter. Alright, and now the last step is to bring it back into Blender and here are again a few helpers that you will like. The first one is an add-on called Node Wrangler, which is available now for Blender 2.8 as well, which is great. Be sure to have it activated and save the user settings. Then I open the shader editor with the low poly stone selected and before I add the textures, I set the shading of the stone to smooth. Ok, now open the Node Wrangler panel in the shader editor and then select Add Principle Setup. Now you can add the textures that we exported with Substance Painter. I just press B here to box select these. Press Principal Texture Setup and the full PBR material setup is done with one click. There's a small update problem, just click one time in the 3D viewport, here we go. And then you can see this really looks like the high poly mesh. But it isn't, it is just the low poly mesh with these image nodes for roughness, metallic, normal map and diffuse or albedo applied. You can rotate the environment here, just like we did in Substance Painter, now with Blender 2.8 as well. Ok guys, I hope you find this useful and interesting, this was the last part of the game asset creation pipeline. If you have any questions or suggestions for improvement, just add these to the comments below. Think about being my patron to support me, this would be really cool and I hope to see you soon here on JNM. Don't forget to subscribe.